Science Central. Nanotechnology is slated to become a multi-trillion dollar industry in the next decade. But will it be a green industry? In James Hutchison's University of Oregon lab, researchers are spinning gold. Gold and copper nanoparticles so small, billions would fit on the head of a pin. Someday they may become a better way to target tumor cells in cancer patients. But making the new nanoparticles required a lot of organic solvents, chemicals that are hazardous to people and the environment. We were using 15,000 times more solvent than, uh, in terms of mass of solvent, than the actual material we were purifying. To reduce that amount and the impact on the environment, they used a high-tech filter, originally designed to do things like filter blood in kidney dialysis machines. As they wrote in the journal Nano, that allowed them to purify their product with just a small amount of water. Hutchison says solutions like this are critical if nanomanufacturing is to become environmentally friendly. Nanoparticles are already being incorporated into hundreds of products, from computer chips to odor-fighting socks. We have, for the first time in a new technology, the opportunity to try to get these things right the first time, rather than proceeding with inefficient and unsafe methods, and then having to clean up the mess afterward. He says these kinds of innovations are needed now, as nanotechnology is moving out of the lab and into the factory. I'm Sunita Reid.